Hi, my name's Lee Cass. I'm a counsellor and psychotherapist and I work a lot with couples. And I want to give some tips, five hot tips, for you guys to keep your girlfriends happy. Here's five tips and it's directed for you guys but it'd be handy for women to see what you guys are thinking as well. The first hot tip is to say what you need. So what happens occasionally is you're not saying what you want and you're assuming that the other person knows what you want and this will create what I call a little bump. So it's a little thing like this that's in the way now. So for example, you would like to have a, say you want to have a cuddle or give your girlfriend a kiss and she might be in a different mood to you. And if, if you just go up to her and try to do something like kiss or hug her and then she rebuffs you, you're going to get upset. What you might do is you won't say anything about that. That's where that little, what I call a little bump, gets in the way. It's a little problem you've got and often people People pretend that they don't exist, that it's not there, and it is. The next hot tip is to listen to what your girlfriend says. Now, for example, she has a complaint. She didn't want you to kiss her, for example. Let's do that one. She was feeling really annoyed from a day's work, and she came in and you tried to kiss her. And she doesn't say, don't kiss me, but later on she might say that. And what you need to do is to listen to what she says, because a lot of guys just pretend that she didn't say anything at all. So if she does say something to you and you don't listen to her, what happens then is you have another little problem between the two of you, another little bump. And that's coming from her and probably from you too. The third tip would be let them know that you heard what their complaint was. So they're saying, please don't give me a kiss if I'm feeling annoyed from coming home from work. And you go, oh well, and think nothing of it and try to do something affectionate then she's going to complain that you didn't listen to her. So the idea is listen to what she said. How do you let her know that you've heard what she's just said? Repeat what she said in a different way. She said to you, look, I'm really annoyed. I'm, I've been had a horrible day at work. I don't want to be touched at all. So you say back, oh, here, you, you, you've had a bad day at work and you don't want me to touch you. Okay, can I touch you later on? Something like that. The fourth hot tip is don't change the subject. Sometimes we do change the subject. So, for example, your girlfriend say, I've had a terrible time at work today and I just need to come home and relax. Don't just come on to me, just leave me alone. And you go, you've had a bad day, I've had a really bad day. And start telling her about your day, you find you won't get anywhere with that one because she's been trying to tell you about her day. And you've switched about her talking about herself to you talking about yourself. That will create another bump. So now we've got four bumps coming up. The fifth hot tip for guys especially is sometimes when you're talking about um, something that's happened between you and your girlfriend, you might need some time to think it over. So she says something to you like, look, when I come home from work and I'm really tired, can you, can you do something in a different way with me? What, what can you do? How can you help me? And guys, we don't sort of know sometimes what to say. So what you do say is, oh, I hear what you say, you want me to leave you alone when you come home from work. Okay, now, Sometimes I don't want to because I also have my needs. Remember the first tip was tell your partner what you need. So I would like to have some affection because I had an awful day at work too, say. And so what guys can do is say, okay, I need to think, give me a few minutes to think about what you just said to me. And you go for a walk around the block or just go take a shower, go into another room. Just let, let it filter through your head because what men do is they think things through while they're doing something else, women think things through while they're talking. And this is a real bump between couples because you've got one person thinking on the hop, which is the woman, and the other guy, the other guy, you're wanting to think about what it is to say back, and guys get into trouble all the time because they say the wrong thing. So, what happens if you've got a bump from the very first tip, a bump from the second one, a bump from the third, a bump from the fourth, and the fifth one is you replied straight away and said the wrong thing without thinking. The bumps do this. One, two, three, four, boom. And that's when you have an argument. And that's when relationships break down. And then you've got some major problems. If you've got problems like that, there are ways through that. One is, go through what I've just said, my tips. Here's my book. You can get more tips out of this book on my website, which is leecastcouncil.com.au. And... There are some tips on that website or you can order this book through the website. It's all there.